Hello folks, uh, this is Geeky, doing, uh, um, just doing compar compare and contrast of, uh, Just Breed and, uh, Fire Emblem. Uh, like I said, I did find a English, uh, translated, uh, version of Fire Emblem. Uh... Unfortunately, I, I think that whoever designed this made the starting city become the city of perverts. Uh, but uh, pretty much for the rest of this, for the rest of this, I'm just going to play the game. Uh, I'm not going to do any commentary, uh, and I'll just do a complete uh, just playthrough of it, and. Uh, I'll do the same thing for a uh, fire emblem of uh, just doing a playthrough, no commentary, and then at the end of it, I'll just hi take highlights of each one and let you guys see which one's good, which one's bad, and uh, see which one had better features and as far as the uh, turn-based strategy and which one kind of had better storylines and whatnot. Anyway, in this one, our role is uh, just a uh, captain of the guards, and uh, we're doing a save the damsel in distress sort of game. And the game mostly revolves around the tiara. Let's see if we can steal some wine. Nope, nope, can't steal any wine. Uh, can I hide in the closet? Nope, can't. Kind of closet. But yeah, this is one of those type ones. Uh, Fire Emblem also did one of these type of games. Uh, it's called Fire Emblem Gaiden. Uh, fortunately, I couldn't find a translated copy of that, or I would have given that a comparison instead. Uh, but... I'm just doing the uh, regular Fire Emblem. Uh, if anybody can find a translated, I mean, f decently co uh, translated copy of uh, Fire Emblem Gaiden, I will add, add that into the comparison. But since I, I don't feel like it's kind of a w bother on doing it. Uh, but anyway, uh, as you can see here, like I said, the whole town is talking about her and that she's the uh, best one out of all of them, about all these old guys hey, staring at it. It was like, good lord. And then right after the uh, festival too, that, that's all they talk about is how good she looks and how much they wishes her back and everything is like god dang is this a town of perverts or something but uh anyway this one's kind of more of a more RPG-ish form of it while the uh, other one's kind of well, standard Fire Emblem of just map and map and map. Uh, Gaiden does a combination of two of them, where it's map over map over map. And uh, with the ability to enter and exit towns. In other words, it's kind of like an, uh, in, instead of a, I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, you know, like kind of like one of those Mario dots. Uh, it's kind of like one of those. Uh, basically, it's kind of like that. You just do levels one minute at a time, and you, you can't repeat the levels, but you can always go back and get equipment. So, and uh, basic in this one's that's like forced RPG where you have to say yes to everything. Kind of stinks.
Oh, uh, Lord Ezekiel. Well, anything named Ezekiel is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't care what you say, everybody knows Ezekiel is a bad name. Has to be bad. Uh, but anyway, I, like I said, a simple save the princess game, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, be quiet here um, and save all the analysis and stuff for after I've completely played the, played the game, and I will post uh, me playing the entire game, both the games, so you have all the footage that you can review and. See if you can come up with your own conclusion. So, and which one's better and which one's not as not as good. Figured I'd try that method and see how it goes. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and shut up and let you enjoy the game. Uh, so, uh, King signing out. Thank you.